Good afternoon, everybody. Please have a seat. As president, uh, my most solemn responsibility is the safety and security of the American people. And we've got an outstanding team here of folks who uh, work every single day to make sure that uh, we're doing everything we can to fulfill that responsibility. And that means that our entire government, our law enforcement and homeland security professionals, our troops, our diplomats, our intelligence personnel are all working together. It means working with state and local partners to disrupt terrorist attacks, to make our borders more secure, respond to natural disasters, and make our immigration system more effective and fair. Now, addressing any one of these challenges is a tall order. Addressing all of them at once is a monumental task. But that's what the dedicated men and women of the Department of Homeland Security do every day. And today I'm proud to announce my choice to lead them, an outstanding public servant who I've known and trusted for years, Mr. Jay Johnson. Now, we are, of course, enormously grateful to Secretary Janet Napolitano. Uh, Janet couldn't be here today. She's already made her move to her new position in sunny California, overseeing uh, the higher education system uh, in that great state. And I know that she's going to do an outstanding job there uh, with the incredible young people uh, that are in our largest state. But uh, we all deeply appreciate the terrific job that she did over the last four and a half years. I want to thank uh, Rand Bears for his service and for stepping in uh, as acting secretary after Janet left. Thanks in no small part to Janet's leadership, her team, We've done more to protect our homeland against those who wish to do us harm. We've strengthened our borders. We've taken steps to make sure our immigration system better reflects our values. We've helped thousands of Americans recover from hurricanes and tornadoes, floods and wildfires. And we've worked to clean up a massive oil spill in the Gulf, as well as address a flu pandemic. In Jay Johnson, we have the right person to continue this important work. From the moment I took office, Jay was an absolutely critical member of my national security team, and he demonstrated again and again the qualities that will make him a strong Secretary of Homeland Security. Jay has a deep understanding of the threats and challenges facing the United States. As, Pentagon's, as the Pentagon's top lawyer, uh, he helped design and implement many of the policies that have kept our country safe, including our success in di uh, dismantling the core of Al Qaeda in the Fatah. When I directed my national security team to be more open and transparent about how our policies uh, work and how we make decisions, especially when it comes to preventing terrorist attacks, Jay was one of the leaders who spoke eloquently about how we meet today's threats in a way that are consistent with our values, including the rule of law. Jay also knows that meeting these threats demands cooperation and coordination across our government. He's been there in the Situation Room, at the table, in moments of decision, working with leaders from a host of agencies to make sure everyone is rowing in the same direction. And he's respected across our government as a team player, somebody who knows how to get folks who don't always agree to work towards a common goal. Jay has experience leading large, complex organizations as a member of the Pentagon's senior management team, first under uh, Bob Gates and then uh, under Leon Panetta. He helped oversee the work of more than three million military and civilian personnel across the country and around the world. And I think it's fair to say that uh, both uh, former Secretaries Gates uh, and Panetta uh, will attest to the incredible professionalism that Jay brings to the job and the bipartisan approach that appropriately he takes when it comes to national security. Uh, he's also earned a reputation as a cool and calm leader. Jay appreciates that any organization's greatest asset is its people. And at the Pentagon, he guided the report, explaining why allowing our men and women in uniform to serve their country openly would not weaken our military. Congress ended up using that report that Jay helped to craft to justify repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And America and our military are stronger because we did, in part because of Jay's determined leadership. I know he will bring that same commitment to our hardworking folks at DHS. And finally, Jay believes 
in a, in a deep and personal way that keeping America safe requires us also upholding the values and civil liberties that make America great. Now, Jay tells the story of his uncle, who was a member of the legendary Tuskegee Airmen during World War II. And he and his fellow airmen served with honor, even when their country didn't treat them with the dignity and the respect that they deserved. And it was a lesson that Jay never forgot. We must adopt legal positions that comport with common sense, Jay says, consistent with who we are as Americans. And Jay's a pretty good lawyer, so he knows what that means. And Jay understands that this country is worth protecting, not because of what we build or what we own, but because of who we are. And that's what sets us apart. That's why, as a nation, we have to keep adapting to changing threats, whether natural or man-made. We have to stay ready when disaster strikes and help Americans recover in the aftermath. We've got to fix our broken immigration system in a way that strengthens our borders and modernizes legal immigration and makes sure everybody is playing by the same rules. Uh, and I'm confident that uh, I could not make a better choice uh, in Jay, somebody who I'm confident is going to uh, be moving not just the agency forward, but helping to move the country forward. So, Jay, thank you so much for agreeing to take on this uh, very difficult and extraordinary mission. You've got a great team over at DHS, uh, and I know that they're looking forward to having you over there. I urge the Senate to confirm Jay as soon as possible, uh, and I thank you uh, as well as your family, to agreeing to serve. Uh, your wife, Susan, and your daughter, Natalie, and uh, couldn't be here because they're visiting Jay Jr. out at Occidental College, which, by the way, I went to for two years when I was young. It's a fine college. I'm sorry I couldn't be there uh, to say hi to him, uh, but uh, your son chose well. So, uh, er ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like uh, to invite Jay Johnson to say a few words, uh, hopefully our next uh, Secretary of Department of Homeland Security. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, as you noted, my um, wife and two kids are not here because it's parents' weekend at Occidental. Um, and thanks to the cost of a non-refundable airline ticket, uh, they could not be in two places at once. They wish they could be here. Um, thank you for the tremendous honor of this nomination and the trust you have placed in me to carry out this large and important responsibility as Secretary of Homeland Security. I was not looking for this opportunity. I had left government at the end of last year and was settling back into private life and private law practice. But when I received the call, I could not refuse it. I am a New Yorker, and I was present in Manhattan on 9-11, which happens to be my birthday. When that bright and beautiful day was a day something like this was shattered by the largest terrorist attack on our homeland in history. I wandered the streets of New York that day and wondered and asked, what can I do? Since then, I have tried to devote myself to answering that question. I love this country. I care about the safety of our people. I believe in public service, and I remain loyal to you, Mr. President. If confirmed by the Senate, I promise all of my energy, focus, and ability toward the task of safeguarding our nation's national and homeland security. Thank you again, sir. Thank you.